Greetings family, welcome back to my channel. In this video I would like to say rest in peace to Big Dale out of Chicago. He is the father of a slain rapper who goes by the name of Fat Shorty. But Big Dale has always been an instrumental figure in Chicago who was actually trying to bridge the gap between the warring gangs in Chicago and he advocated for peace. You know, recently, certain bloggers from Chicago like FYBJ Main, King Yellow, um, T600, several other individuals have been advocating for peace. They actually call it pushing peace, right? And persons like Big Les, persons like Big Dale were individuals that were actually joining hands with the younger generation and trying to give more energy to the peace movement. All right. But regrettably, we found that Big Dale recently passed away from heart complications. I'm not sure if it took place at his home or while he was in hospital, but we were not aware that Big Dale had been battling any heart complications, anything pertaining to his health, you know, and I don't know if this stems from adverse reactions to a certain um, globally administered medication, but I would say that Big Less has always been a crusader for peace. I think this is a very big loss for Chicago. Persons might not realize it right now, but there were very few people that were motivated to push for peace in Chicago. All right, there's a lot of resentment, a lot of animosity, um, many grudges are being held, but you don't find that there's really a consistent movement of persons who are pushing for a new narrative, who are trying to call the youth to a different path. You know, and I think that Big Less, Big Dale, uh, FYBJ Main, and other individuals were very instrumental for the past two years or so and I think the loss of Big Dale will certainly deal a blow to this movement but I think the foundation that he's laid down should be continued on by the new generation person should advocate for peace advocating for putting the guns down and resolving disputes peacefully you know and I would like to say that many of these disputes are artificial. We don't own these streets. You know, we don't literally have um, a deed for the street that we live on. You know, many of these housing units are rentals. You know, so I would say, family, let's try to work towards dismantling this animosity that is in the black community. You know, it certainly stems from social engineering. It certainly stems from the manipulation of the dominant society. But whatever the case may be, we have a choice to make. And we can actually turn the tide. We can actually change the trajectory that we are currently on. Uh, trajectory. Family, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about all these dynamics. One love.